Good morning, my name is Ben and welcome to the Micro Soldering Show. This is Apfel Dr. Germany and uh, today we do just a fast repair because I'm normally not at the company, only now for a short video. And then I have a date at my tattoo artist to get my arm uh, continued, uh, hopefully filled full with color after the date. Um, perhaps I need another one, we will see how uh, how far we get today. Okay, yesterday I did um, a great video, I think. It was iPhone 7, 8, 10 RAM. Uh, I did it two times because one time uh, somebody meant it uh, would be fake because um, I didn't show the, the board in the camera after I did the RAM. Um, so I did it just one time again and uh, I think it was uh, it was clear and it was a proof. Okay, so now we just do a small repair together. I got here an iPhone, what's that? An iPhone 8 and Andy already did diagnose and wrote VDD on the sheet. So I think um, this should be really a fast thing, but I want to give you one video today because normally I owe a uh, always give you one per day. Last week it was hard, um, I didn't have the time to do, but um, this week I try to give you one every day. Okay, um, that's what Andy did so far. So he just disassembled some screws and, some sh uh, and a shield and just checked what, uh, what's up uh, with the device. I check it again to see if uh, if he's right but I need another cable let's have a look iPhone 8 do I got it here or not 7 no not here but no this is X XR didn't have it here but I can use but I can use this one yes it's a VCC or in this case VDD main uh, shortage okay so we just take out the shields and uh, then we have a look what we have there I have so many pictures of repairs which I could post on Instagram, really nice repairs. Um, the whole time, I po sometimes I post a two, three posts a day. At the moment I try to only post one um, and the rest only story to, g to show you what we do here. So today in the evening I will do because today I, we won't have much feet because I'm not at the company but um, I try to give you some some pictures some posts today in the evening okay so we just take the board out um, I was thinking about what we can um, what we can do as next perhaps when I get the time this week we can do an iPhone SE board swap because I never saw it on on YouTube before and I'm always looking for videos I didn't saw before on YouTube like the A10 RAM for, for sure there are some videos on YouTube but they are all fake or not starting by the bottom and um, really um, my thing is I always want to do realistic video to show in real time with no cuts from the beginning to the end um, what I do. So on the most videos there are cutted and time shifted. I have done one like this before last week for iMesa. It was Andy's, Andy's work and um, Andy said no I don't want to show all the secrets I have for the iMesa um, so I did um, I did a little bit faster and cut some some important points out yeah 
but uh, when I do my videos normally um, or I don't do any cuts in my videos um, never um, but when I got some things I don't want to show I try to hide them okay that's I think that's a, that's just normal okay like the the microscope uh, like the like the thermal camera I never will tell uh, what I use but I think in the last years I I supplied so many secrets so some things are just a secret and should uh, should keep as a secret okay so let's see what do we have here Oh, where is the short? Not w what what we have here. We already know we got a short, but I want to see where the short is. Okay. So let's go. So we take the lower the lower sticker <clears throat> we take it off and I just heat it a small bit to get it up better. You can see what I do. Just heat it up. Problem is when I use the on hands camera together with the microscope camera the system crashes down and my video normally fucks up and I don't like that so getting the sticker off getting power again no this isn't the point I think cable is really fucked up. No, should be the other side. But that is directly under the Tigris so let's see if we see another cap only cap blinking that's a long time for VCC or VDD short Normally it's much faster to get them. And here we are. Do you see that? Right beside to the power I see. You see it great here. One cap next beside to the power IC so now I just want to do a photo okay and I want to want to have less light reflection okay great so let's see under the microscope if we can see this cap here and you see it's next beside to the power I see and they are hardly underfilled uh, overfilled so what can we do in this case we could use the short killer really
so there are two possibilities we could only get the cap out now um, without replacing it because it's really next to the power I see and I don't like that I really just don't like that or we shoot the cap away and normally I don't use a short killer but when I see things like this um, it's okay for me to use the short killer so I just need uh, to find the cap on VCC no problem I just open ZXW and you see I really take much time for this video so we get ground on it here so we take the VCC and then we open the iPhone series and the iPhone 8 Intel version. And let's see if we can see something here. Just have to get in, get in, get in. I want to have a big cap here. PP suck, no. VDD main, okay. VDD main looks good. So here we got them. There we got that, okay. So I just switched to OBS. Okay, and now you, s you saw that did you saw that here the cap it's just exploded and now we are rid of our shot that it was a great tool if you know how to use I can say it again and again don't use it for every shot never never and here you see do you see that we just get a shot bam right on this cap okay you see it just get it away by the short pillar so I hope I hope you enjoyed it. So it's just another another thing by using another another tool. So no hot air. We got no um, we got no um, no fear to to do any damage at the IC because the cap is directly next to the power IC and the power IC sits backside to the CPU so in this case normally we had uh, gently to get up um, the overfill and then to kick out the cap I wouldn't renew it in this case because it's too much uh, it's too dangerous um, to do it in at that point okay and now um, we should have solved the short We should have killed the short, but I just need a good cable, an iPhone 8 cable here, X and 8, X and 8, that's great. So let's have a look if we have killed it or if we have, if 
It's partially shorted. No, it looks much better. So sometimes we can lose the cap, not here. So check it again by the short killer. Just to see if it's completely removed. Because in some cases it's not completely removed. And we got a partial short on it. Okay, should be good. And let's see now if the shot has really gone or not. Voltage to 4.2 again. Now we have a right cable for the iPhone 8. We have a we have another short so the short killer wasn't the best you can imagine <laughs> or things like that no let's have a look the short on VCC has gone but I see another problem and I just want to see where it is okay don't we have another problem we have a 100 milli short so we should we should see it it's no problem what I don't like on the short killer is the big the big uh, the big pin but it removed the short on VCC and I just want to see What's the other problem with the phone? Yeah, it's 100 milli. Okay. It's just... It's just a cap and we have to kick it out. So, a minute before I said the shot killer is really, really good for that. And it was. But you see, it killed the cap, so we can get it out e more easily. And now let's see if the short is completely away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and we got, and we got a boot for the device. Okay, that's okay. Um, I think it killed the short. But a uh, cap has layers, ceramic layers. So perhaps it was partially shorted at one point or not, not completely blown away. So I have to use the short killer a little bit more time on the point to get more power in it. Um, I did it in a fast way. Um, the cap exploded, boom. And because of that, I just could kick it out Bam bam, you see the pads are there, so we have no ripped pads at all. And if I had done this without using the short killer, I it, j it just wouldn't work, really wouldn't work. So don't think the short killer is bad because we had these uh, 100 milli after using the short killer. The cap exploded and it was just connected in the circuit, so I just took it out and um, it worked fine so always control that's the cause why I always control after removing a short or after removing a short by the short killer if it has really completely gone because I, I saw this two or three times and it's always the same just kick the cap out 
and you are done. So let's get the battery FPC on it. I hate them iPhone 8 battery FPCs. I said it several times and just start the device. If the battery has power, if it has no power, it can't work. So we just take another one or when we don't have one, we can use our iPower. That's not a problem at all. Just just get the board out. I renew the, the sticker on the board after the repair. So, and now just get the right cable. Just need to find it. 8, 8 plus. Okay. A long video for VDD short, but soft without using hot air. And okay. Boom! We are back to life again. So the customer has all his important data. He has one cap less on VCC main or VDD main, but that's not a problem because we have so many caps for stabilizing uh, in this line. So if one is missing next beside to the power IC, it's really no problem because it's just um, it's just one of one of hundreds, one of a lot. Okay, phone works fine again. Um, I will clean it, get the stickers back to the board, uh, assemble it, do complete uh, test before uh, I mail it out. And yeah, this it was. Um, then I will leave the company and go straight to my data. I'm out if you want to learn things like that. You can easily do that on the bottle repair school. And if you're working in the smartphone repair industry, you can join our Facebook group, Smartphone Repair Group Germany. I'm out, you're bad. Boom.